Well, good evening, Tuesday Club. Welcome back after your Easter break. Now that you're all back at uh, at school, well, uh, sort of back at school, I guess. Um, doing your work at home. I hope that's working out. It must be quite difficult at times. But uh, we've got Tuesday Club, and uh, well, we had Holiday Club last week, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, brought to you in your own home. Um, but Tuesday Club's back. So we're going to sing some songs. Um, Anne Benton will be here later with our story. Um, and a couple of other things going on. But we, uh, we need to start with um, a couple of songs, don't we, really? So, uh, so let's do that. <clears throat> this one we haven't done for a while. Well, it's going to come up here uh, <clears throat> by a new and even uh, different technology. Keep changing the technology. Everything keeps changing. Never quite sure what's happening from one, one day to the next. But anyway, here we go. Um, blessed be the name of the Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Now, what I did forget to do was uh, the actions for this. Uh, during the, the, the blessed bit, uh, and then it's glory, and then it's holy, um, we just clap along in time. Uh, and then when we get to the, uh, the name of the Lord bit, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I think that's how it goes. So I don't usually do the actions. Um, no doubt uh, Eleanor will correct me, or someone will correct me if I got it wrong. Uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower tower and people can run to it and they are saved Woo the name of the lord is a strong tower and people can run to it <laughs> and they are saved Woo um that's what you do in uh, in that bit okay so let's start again shall we sorry about that here we go blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord another song shall we uh, and we're going to sing this one our God is a great big God uh, and so the actions are um, I can't remember them all <laughs> I really need an assistant um, uh, our God is great big God our God is great big God our God is great big God and he holds us in his hands he's higher than a skyscraper deeper than a submarine wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams 
and he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Okay, let's see how this goes. Here we go. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing I hope you're all nicely sat. Now, um, the opening game, because we, we did do a plan for this term uh, quite a long time ago, before all this coronavirus and, and social distancing and, and not being able to meet together happened. And so the original plan was, uh, for a start of game, was, was Captain's Coming. Now we did do a bit of this last term before Easter, if you remember. So you should be, um, pretty much sorted in your own mind this is what you're going what what this is um you, do you remember i can't remember which side is port and starboard um let's go port okay ports that way starboard is that way um bow that's that's towards me uh stern right the way back over here um yeah, climb the ringing, rigging, obviously. Turn the capstan. Uh, however many people you've got. If you've got three, tremendous. If you've only got two, do a one arm capstan. Uh, and if uh, you're on your Todd somewhere, good to have you with us um, this evening. Uh, just, just spin around on the spot. Do your own capstan bit. Um, what have we got? Scrub the decks, of course. Uh, down on your uh, hands is scrubbing the floor. Um, and what is it? Oh, up periscope, um, lying on your back, foot in the air, if you remember that. Sharks is get off the floor, uh, but not if you're wearing shoes. Uh, slippers might be okay, or socked feet, maybe even bare feet. It's starting to get a little bit warmer now, isn't it? Don't know, uh, but um, no shoes, please, on the furniture. Um, and of course, Captain's coming. Staying upright to attention, saluting me. So Captain. Okay, so uh, let's see how we go with this. Okay, so when I call one of the instructions, you have to uh, do it, and it's the last one to do it who's out. And you'll have to sort that one out yourself, because I can't actually... S no. No, I can't, I can't see you. It's, it's my wrong glasses. Um, okay, so let's start with bow. Which of course isn't bow, it's it's front. Very good. Uh, starboard. Climb the rigging. Scrub the decks. Uh, up periscope. How you doing? Are you keeping up, Noah? Ben. How you doing? Lacey, are you there? Next one, um, sharks! Very good. Captain's coming. Oh, some of you a little bit slow there. Um, port! Stern! Turn the capstan! Yeah, not too bad. Climb the rigging. 
scrub the decks, climbing rigging, scrub the decks, captain's coming, sharks, Ooh. turn the capstan, port, Captain's coming. Okay, very good. I'm glad you managed to keep up with that. Um, well done uh, to you at home if you've uh, if you've done that. Now we're going to. Um, what are we going to sing? Uh, we're going to sing another song. Yes. Now it was Holiday Club last week, and uh, whoa, that was a bit different, wasn't it? Doing Holiday Club in your own home <clears throat> on uh, on YouTube, but um, uh, it was good fun nonetheless uh, but we had our story bible story a life of daniel and uh, we had a, a theme song didn't we uh, daniel and his three friends and so the words will come up here and let's uh sing this through if you can remember how this goes Daniel and his three friends were taken off to Babylon to learn the customs of the land. They were told to eat the food offered to the idols or else there would be trouble and their God would lose his head. But they said the Lord our God is the only God. We trust in him and we follow his word. Whatever you As I had a strange dream, he asked his wise men what it meant. If they could not tell him, then all of them would have to die. But Daniel was the only one able to tell the king. And he said, the Lord our God is the only God. We trust in him and we follow his word. Whatever you do, we will not fear. The Lord our God is here. One day Nebuchadnezzar built a statue and all the people must bow down. If they didn't worship, then in the furnace they would go. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego stood before the king and they said, The Lord our God is the only God. We trust in him and we follow his word. Whatever you do, we will not fear. The Lord our God is here. Wanted to get rid of him, they asked the king to make a law. Everyone must bow and pray, only to King Darius or end up in a lion's den. But Daniel refused to bend, and he said, The Lord our God is the only God. We trust in him and we follow his word. Whatever you do, we will not fear. The Lord our God is here. The Lord Well done. I hope you enjoyed uh, singing that again, reminding ourselves of the stories we had um, from the book of Daniel last week. Great stuff. Now then, ooh, bit of a treat now. We have a special guest come along to uh, tell us uh, our Bible story uh, this evening. Uh, we were doing Old Testament last term um, about King Saul and, uh, and David. Now we're coming uh, into the New Testament. Wonder what it's all about. Over to you, Anne. Hello, from my house. I wonder what you've been doing during lockdown. I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of sorting out, including the dressing up clothes. Here's my dressing up box. Well, I must be honest, I've got more than one, but these are the hats. And I've been sorting them out and it reminded me what fun it is to dress up. A classic. Or personal favourite. Uh, 
elementary, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes, in case you didn't guess. Mm. What about this one? You'll get this one. You'll get this one. Even though all I've got is the glasses. Get it? Harry Potter. Yes. Well, you see, you can have all sorts of fun dressing up, pretending to be different people, just with clothes and accessories. But this box has also come in useful at other times for disguising. When I was a Tuesday club leader, one of my favourite events was Hunt the Leader. Oh yes, and then I came to this box. This one oh, came in use many times. Because you see, the point about Hunt the Leader is you want to be in disguise so that when all you children go around the town, you don't spot us. Once, I dressed up as a bag of rubbish. None of you got me. Ha! Now, the man in our story tonight, Nicodemus, his name was. Oh, he didn't want to be spotted. He didn't want his friends knowing where he was going because he wanted to go and see Jesus. He'd got some questions for Jesus. He didn't have a disguise, though. So instead, he went at night. I could just picture him, you know, collar up, looking this way and that to make sure he wasn't being followed. Skulking along the streets, creeping to the door of the house where Jesus was staying. Do I dare? Knocking, waiting. <laughs> door opens. And then there he is. He's got an audience with Jesus. And then it all comes tumbling out, all his confusion. He says, teacher, I know you do all these amazing things and I don't see how you could do them unless God was with you or you come from God or... I don't know, really. I don't know. Jesus didn't really answer those questions. He looked at Nicodemus and he said, Nicodemus, I've got something really important to say to you. Unless a person is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. Not a chance. Wait a minute, wait a minute, said Nicodemus. Born again? Born again? What do you mean? You mean you can turn back the clock and uh, time travel back to being in your mum's womb and start your life again? Jesus smiled. He said, no. I'm not talking about a physical birth. I'm talking about a spiritual birth, a second birth of a different kind, which happens when the Holy Spirit works in you. Oh, said Nicodemus. Hmm. He looked confused still. What's this talk about the Spirit? Jesus said, think of it like this. You know the wind, you can't see the wind, but you really do see what the wind does, whether it's washing on a line, or um, the sails of a windmill, or maybe in a very high wind, the, the vents falling down. Powerful force, unseen. The Holy Spirit's like that. And when the Holy Spirit comes in a person, it does something amazing, powerful, a new beginning. You have to be born again by the Spirit, said Jesus. You know, I still don't get it, said Nicodemus. That's interesting, said Jesus, because you're a teacher. You're a highly respected teacher in the synagogue and you don't get it. But look, Nicodemus, the things I'm telling you, I'm telling you because I know, I know things about heaven because I came from heaven. I'm a man like you in many ways, but I'm also different. I'm a man from outside. I can tell you things true things, big things that I know. Nicodemus still looked puzzled. So Jesus went on. He said, do you remember the story about Moses? It was one of those times in the wilderness and the children of Israel always moaning and grumbling and a whole lot of snakes came into the camp, poisonous snakes, one bite and you died. Well, God, who is very kind, said to Moses, I want you to make a snake out of bronze. Fix it on the pole, hold the pole up, and say to the Israelites, anyone who turns and looks at the pole will live. They won't die of the snake bite. They'll live. 
bit ridiculous maybe? Maybe some people thought, that's silly. How can looking at a bronze snake cure me of a sneak bite? Hmm. Well, if they thought it was silly and didn't look, they died. But those who thought, I'm going to believe, I'm going to believe what Moses says, I'm going to look, they lived. Now Jesus said, one day soon I'm going to be lifted up. He was talking about the cross, boys and girls. He said, I'm going to be lifted up and anyone, anyone who looks to me and believes in me will live forever, eternal life, by looking and believing in Jesus. So that's what Nicodemus understood that day. And I think he did believe. Boys and girls, I think he was born again. He understood something about God's big plan for the whole world. He understood about who Jesus is, or a little bit about it anyway. And he understood that God so loved the world that he sent his son Jesus so that anyone who turned to him and believed in him will not die, but have eternal life. That is being born again. You see, being a Christian is not just a matter of pretending and trying to do what Christians do and go where they go and look like a Christian. It's something that happens inside. When you trust in Jesus, you, you are given eternal life, boys and girls. And that means, oh, one day, probably your body will die. Your life will go on in heaven. That is what Jesus meant by eternal life. And it begins now, when you are born again, when you trust in Jesus. I think Nicodemus went home very happy. He'd been born again. But you know, I want to ask you, have you been born again? Have you trusted in Jesus, turned to him, and believed in him and his death on the cross for your sins? Look to him and live, he would say to you. Be born again. It could happen today. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Anne, for uh, telling us our Bible story uh, this evening. Now then, I thought we'd have another quick blast from Holiday Club last week, but uh, this is by way of a song. You remember the song Stand Firm? When life changes, stand firm through the ups and downs and all the actions to that. I'm not going to do them again because um, Alex is uh, much better at doing them than, uh, than, than I am. So um, over to Lucy and Alex.
Well, thank you, Lucy and Alex, for leading us in that uh, song. Uh, another uh, reminisce about Holiday Club last week. Now then, um, on the programme that we originally planned, uh, way back, seems like way back, really, we were going to do the, the, the card hunt. You know, that's when you, um, you go around um, the different parts of the building here, if you were here, um, finding Mr. and Mrs. Miss and Master. Um, now, obviously, we can't do that in the, uh, in the normal way because you're all spread out all over the place. But what we have done, um, I know that um, last time we had a bit of trouble with the Royal Mail because they're very busy. Um, other postal and courier services are available. Uh, what we've done this time is actually uh, send out the cards by Carrier Pigeon. Oh yes, no expense spared at all. So around your house, you will find, and this is how the, the game changes slightly. Don't, don't go anywhere yet, don't go anywhere yet. Um, uh, what you, you'll find all around your house, because the pigeons drop them, uh, is all the cards that, uh, you know, so you have to go and find the uh, right card. So if you see a card, you pick it up and turn it over and, and that will be your starter card, okay? Whatever it is, and uh, then you go and find another card and you, sorry, excuse me, wait a minute. Someone's on the phone again. I hope this isn't what well, it probably, hello? Yes, yes it is. Ah, oh. they went where? Okay, oh, oh no. Uh, so, so when are we, we gonna get, can we get them back at all? Um, right, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you tomorrow about that. Yeah, thank you, thanks for letting me know, bye. <clears throat> uh, sorry about this, boys and girls, but, um, the cards got loaded onto the wrong pigeon and uh, instead of being a carrier pigeon, it was a homing pigeon and so all our cards are currently in Manchester and uh, no return flights uh, available for the next few weeks. Um, so we can't do the card hunt, I'm afraid. Okay, hands up, those of you who went looking for cards around your house. Really? <clears throat> what we can do instead of a card hunt is <clears throat> uh, we're going to have uh, a memory verse. Um, and we're going to start this memory verse this week because it's a bit long. So um, we thought we'd split it into two. So I'm going to do the first part with you uh, this week and then the second part will come uh, next week and the week after you put it all together. Okay, so now again, uh, with the uh, wonders of technology, uh, the words are going to appear here when I click my fingers like so. Oh no, not that again. That's, uh, this happened last week. Um, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that, boys and girls. Not me, got it? it the screen. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so there it is. Uh, there's the first part of the verse um, that we're going to learn. And it says, Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. And that's from John chapter 20, verse 29. So I wonder who the him is. Well, we'll find out. Uh, not tonight, but um, in the coming weeks. Okay, so let's read that all together. Look at that all together. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. John chapter 20, verse 29. Okay, let's, uh, let's remove some words. Are you ready for that yet? Oh, let's read it once more, once more. Okay, then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. John chapter 20, verse 29. Okay, let's, uh, let's remove some words. Okay, got it, let's go through it. Then Jesus told him, 
because you have seen me, you have believed. John chapter 20, verse 29. Okay, let's uh, get rid of a few more uh, words. Okay, now go. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. John chapter 20, verse 29. Oh, a few more words. Let's actually let's let's just take it all out, except for the reference. Well, that's mostly all out, and most of the reference as well, isn't it? Um, okay. Then Jesus told him, "Because you have seen me, you have believed." John chapter twenty, verse twenty-nine. Okay. Good. Well done. And uh, once once more through. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. John chapter 20, verse 29. Second half of that, next week, and uh, then we can put it all together the week after that. Oh, how exciting. New stuff at, uh, at Tuesday Club. Um, okay. Um, well, we're nearly at the end. Oh of Tuesday Club for this evening. Uh, we're going to do one last song. This is Don't Build Your House on a Sandy Land. Uh, sandy Land. Uh, There's any actions for that. I can't, I do really need an assistant, don't I? I do need an assistant. Um, <clears throat> uh, don't build your house on a sandy land. Don't build too near shore. It might look kind of nice, but you have to build it twice. I remember those bits. You'll have to build your house once more, something like that. You yeah, better build your house upon a rock. I think there's a couple of claps in there. I'll do that. Make a good foundation on a solid spot or the storms may come and go, but the peace of God you will know. Let's, uh, let's see how we do this. We do this. I you do better with the actions than, than me. Okay, here we go. Don't build your house on a sandy land. Don't build it too near the shore. Well, it might look kind of nice, but you have to build it twice, so you have to build your house once more. You better build your house upon a rock, make a good foundation on a solid spot. All the storms may come and go, but the peace of God you will know once more. Don't build your house on a sandy land, don't build it too near the shore. Well, it might look kind of nice, but you have to build it twice. enjoyed that and um, that's the end of Tuesday Club for this evening. Tuesday Club will be back at uh, 6 o'clock next Tuesday. Get the next part of the memory verse and um, well you find out it's going to be a little bit different next week. It's all exciting you know. Yeah, great stuff. We, you know, it's a, yeah, be a bit different. Um, so you look forward to that. Um, but uh, all, all I have to say now is uh, thank you for being with us. At Tuesday Club, I hope you have a good week in these really weird times. Uh, God bless and see you next week. Bye. Oops, I almost forgot. Sorry. Um, there now follows some pictures that were sent in uh, of you doing your craft from Holiday Club last week. So here they are now.